Welcome, this is Carrie Shell from On Point Quilter. In today's tutorial, we're going to take some of the circular fabric images that we created during the last session and bring them back into a quilt work table and use them as fabric in a quilt. I will also share with you some tips for creating fabric from these images. Okay, I'm going to open an existing project and I'm going to select Fabric Artist Using Symmetry, which was how I named the project during the last session. And if you recall, during the last session, we spent um, all of the time working in photos and creating these wonderful symmetry diagrams from this particular fabric by um, Dana Willard uh, called Fiesta Fun. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take each of those uh, pieces that we designed during the last session and I'm going to copy them to fabrics. And then I'm going to close my project sketchbook. Now I'm going to select Design a Quilt from Scratch and I'm going to do a new quilt horizontal. And I'll go to the Layout tab and I'm going to do a quilt that is three blocks horizontal and two blocks vertical. And I'm going to check keep width and height equal, change the size to 12, click on my slider bar. And for the sashing, I'm going to do include sash border, keep width and height equal, and type in two and click on the slider bar next to that. For the borders tab, I'm just going to stay with the long horizontal, but uh, I'm going to change that to four. So make sure your lock size adjustments is on and then type in four and click on the slider bar. Now I'm going to go ahead and go to the design tab and I am going to use one of the default blocks, which is uh, this star block. And so I'm going to click on that and with the control or the command key on my keyboard, I'm going to click on one of the open spaces. Now what I'm going to do is go to the fabric tools and I can scroll to the end. Now notice at it's hard to actually see the fabrics because these are pretty big images. So I'm going to detach the fabric preview and I'm even going to change the size a bit so I can see these things a little bit better. And I'm going to go ahead and um, add those to my um, to my stars. Okay, once I've done that, I'm going to close my fabric preview and I'm going to use Fussy Cut and I am just going to rearrange these so that the fabric is centered in each of these blocks. And I can certainly swap out some fabrics as well, but now I'm going to use my paintbrush and use the rest of that Fiesta collection and color the remaining spaces. And I like to use the control or the command key to do multiple changes at once. Also within the blocks, I like to use the spray can. Now for my border, I decided to go back to using my theme fabric. But realized that that looked a little bit boring. So I decided to play with rotate fabric and decided to go with the advanced rotation with a starting angle of 45 degrees and four rotations. And so I thought that just gave it a sort of a fun addition to the, um, to the, to the quilt. And I just did a single click on all of them and I really like the way that came together. Now I am going to do some rotation and fussy cutting with this just because I'm not sure I completely like um, you know, the, uh, the way the light pieces are showing. And once I have this done, I can go ahead and add this to the project sketchbook. 
So to print out these images, I'm going to go to the Image Work Table, and I'm going to select Print and Export, and select Photo Layout. Now, on the Photo Layout tab, I have all of my photos on the right from this particular project. So I can select one and drag it onto my workspace. Notice the size. It's not quite 6 inches, and if I'm going to use this in a 6 inch space, I'm going to need to make sure that it is 6 inches or slightly higher. So I'm going to select Resize, and I'm just going to bring the measurement up with Maintain Aspect Ratio on. I'm going to bring it up to six and a quarter. Um, I'm going to, that's going to mean I'm going to have a little bit of overlap, but um, I think I'd rather have that than to have the white space, which would happen if my seam allowances weren't perfect. So I'm going to select OK. I'm going to just reposition this. And now I can go ahead and select Print. And then I can select one of my printers and print this off. Um, obviously, I would be wanting to print that off on uh, fabric that can go through my printer. And so I, I typically use the EQ printables for that. So let me go ahead and cancel. And now I can select this and delete and go ahead and select another image. Uh, this one might be a little bit large, so I could even, on this one, bring down the size. And go ahead and print that as well. So I hope you have now some ideas how you can use your fabric symmetries in an actual quilt. Thanks so much for watching. To receive additional electric quilt tips and to get information on my latest class offerings, please subscribe to my weekly newsletter at www.onpointquilter.com.